Here's an example of an earring, a long dangly earring. It, uh, you'll see that it has one piece as the base with a, a second piece and then two, a bead and a piece of dichroic or bling. It started off as a, a rectangle, but because of the volume of glass, say in this particular area here, as the clay fuses, it becomes very hot and almost molten-like, um, and it will expand in certain areas. So that actually started as a rectangle, and uh, after fusing, it's quite round. Here's another piece, a little earring, started as a small rectangle with one piece of that green iridescent glass, and my little rectangle turned into sort of an egg shape, which is rather nice for a pair of uh, small dangly earrings. Here's a, an example of a piece of dichroic, a couple of pieces of dichroic actually, uh, started with the base, uh, this sort of brown taffy color. I put a, a layer of white or ivory, uh, um, and those two pieces are opaque. Then on top of that, I put a piece of transparent uh, gold and then my bling. It's a lot of uh, fun to play with the glass in terms of uh, glass that's opaque and transparent. So you always have to keep that in mind. What's it going to look like when it's fused together? Uh, you wouldn't want to fuse a piece of of opaque over uh, completely covering uh, transparent. Um, if you do, all you will see is something along this lines. Back here to this piece, you'll see a border. You see how the border, this transparent clear forms a border. Um, here's a here's a pretty large magnet done on a piece of clear. Um, and you can see that this is fused, but not a full fuse. It does have some profile. And it has to do with the volume of glass that's stacked here versus here being just one layer.